Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name is Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to share everything I've learned about making and using wooden casting flasks. For those of you who don't already know, these wooden boxes that hold sand for metal casting are called flasks. I've made several different types of flasks over the years, and I've learned a lot about what works and what doesn't. Like many people just starting out with metal casting, I copied simple designs that I had seen on YouTube, specifically this design, which uses a wedge shape to align the two parts of the flask. The only thing that this design has going for it is how easy it is to make. It does a terrible job at keeping everything aligned. It's extremely important that the two parts of the flask align perfectly every time, otherwise your castings will not turn out well. On this flask, which I made very recently, you can see that eight vertical pieces of wood keep the two parts of the flask perfectly aligned. They also prevent the two parts of the flask from moving around horizontally, which is also extremely important. One thing that I see frequently is people making flasks that are way larger and deeper than they need to be. In my experience, you really only need about one inch of sand between the pattern and the flask. I use MDF or particle board to construct the body of my flasks because these materials are not very susceptible to warping due to changing moisture content. The downside of using MDF or particle board is that they're not very rigid materials, so flasks that are longer than about 18 inches should be reinforced using two pieces. When I make a flask, I start by making a four-sided box and then cutting it in half on the table saw so that both parts fit together perfectly. I then glue the handles and guides in place and then secure everything with fasteners. I've found that marking my flasks with a marker to distinguish left from right and top from bottom really helps prevent mistakes when making the mold. I hope that this video has been helpful to some of you. I wish I had a video like this to help me when I was first starting out. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them.